how does it enforce the 21 million limit? Well, I'll, I'll cite a few sources first. This is the Wall Street Journal. The computer code behind Bitcoin imposes a hard cap of 21 million Bitcoins. That is the headline on a major Wall Street Journal article about Bitcoin is, behind Bitcoin's rallies a simple fact, supplies are limited. This is straight from the White House of the United States of America <laughs> that says this was the creation of a strategic Bitcoin reserve, which was signed into law a few weeks ago. And in the text of that strategic Bitcoin reserve signed by the President of the United States, released by the White House, it says, the Bitcoin protocol permanently caps the total supply of Bitcoin at 21 million coins and has never been hacked. So, trust the Wall Street Journal, trust the White House, or go look at it yourself. It's like right there. The code's like right there. Any software developer can look at it and, and see. Okay, so all the Bitcoins will, that it will ever exist is 21 billion. The, you can't make more. And the Bitcoin software is programmed to disconnect anyone who tries to make more than 21 million. So if I went to my little Bitcoin computer at my house, which you don't actually need one, I just run one for fun, but there's like 100,000 of them, so it doesn't matter. All you need is one, but there's like one Bitcoin computer and basically 999,999 ,999 backups. <laughs> this is kind of the way it works, but they're all the same. They all talk with each other. If I went in my little Bitcoin computer and changed the code so that there would be more than 21 million, all of the Bitcoin computers I'm talking to would cut me off. They would say, these are the rules. If you are trying to make more than 21 million Bitcoin, you are not allowed to be on the network. It's similar to the internet. If you start talking a language that's foreign to the, the language of the internet, you're on an internet by yourself. Like nobody talks unless you're talking the protocol and the language of the internet. Okay, so if I change mine to 21 million within a couple of seconds, I am living on an island by myself. No one will talk to me. I have my own version of Bitcoin where I have more and nobody recognizes it as legit. It's, I get cut off from the network. Anybody? Okay, so so the value of Bitcoin is going up as more people adopt it. And so for the first time in history, you actually have a choice in monetary systems, a choice between using the US dollar monetary system, and which is losing value, or using the Bitcoin monetary system, which is gaining value. And I'll talk a, a little bit about why the price goes up and down over time.